What's going on guys? We're back here once again with another Destroy All Humans 2 video. And today's video, I think we're going to the moon. Yup. We are going to the moon. Um, have a calm. Okay, here we go. Fly me to the moon. I want to say this is the final stage of it all. This is going to be exciting. I remember playing on the moon and and I want to say to just regular destroy all humans, the first one. Oh wow. The gravity. Let's just skate on over there. Monkey men in space. That's probably what Crypto's thinking. <laughs> eh. Alright, let's talk to Natalia. Nice of you to join me. Hey, Dollface. You seen my <laughs> new weapon yet? Da, Crypto. Very impressive. Da. Well, you know what they say. Big guns, large arsenal. You know, that may be the clumsiest innuendo you've ever attempted. Thanks, <laughs> I wrote it myself. Crypto is a zinger. Uh, yeah. Give me the Quickly. scoop, dollface. What do we know about this Blisk base? Not much, other than it seems to be the main Blisk stronghold. It contains their hive, and the weapon they plan to use to destroy Earth. And that's They're sons bad. of bitches. See? I'm really getting this spy stuff, huh? <laughs> okay, what do we know about this Blisk weapon? It's an Inform organic force shooter, and it too needs radiation to charge itself. Jeez, okay. Enough with the radiation. My nads are shriveling like That's crazy. why he has the green tones now. Tell me about the hive. I'm guessing it ain't filled with honey. Yet. The hive Wish contains all the Blisk Yummy. spores, hundreds of thousands of them. And the spores feed voraciously on radioactive materials. Radiation. Why did it have to be radiation? <laughs> okay, Sexy, what's the plan? We must find a way to prevent the proliferation of the Blisk spores. Our intel shows the so spores to assume that means to massive them? radiation. We need to cut off their radiation supply so we can cut slow them, them down. Okay. Radiation. Why does it always have to be radiation? <laughs> Crypto hates his radiation, so I guess. How do they get their radiation supply? Their lunar rovers deliver radioactive materials from the mine to the base. I want you to follow one of their ah, rovers to the mining okay. site. You got it. Is that all? I thought it was going to be some hard. You got it, babe. See, me and Crypto. We're in sync. Kind of nervous, and I don't know why. <laughs> well, there's our spaceship. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" No, you don't see anything. Oh, that was easy. We're not even going to hide the fact that we're an alien.
No, I want on you. Let me on. Let me on. Perfect. Those ropers do not want to die. Have some fun. Let's grab this one on the outskirts. I'm sorry. love the disc gun guys uh, and I know you guys already know that but I just I can't stress it enough bye bye robot I feel like the big dudes can't get me in here. Ow. Hello. Thank you. That worked out perfect. The delivery rover is getting away with the radioactive ore. If you can stop it, you'll have cut off the disk's energy supply. Now get out there and cancel that delivery. Okay. I kept on going back to the same corner. I'm trying pox. Oh, okay. Ow. Sirs. duck around somewhere real quick. Yeah. Let's just hang out right here. It's perfect. Ah, you foul turret. Go, go, Gastro. Keep going. Okay. Oh, did you guys like that move? That was like some MLG shape.
Did we do it? What'd we do? Oh, we didn't get there in time. Oh, crap. We gotta catch up. Ow. Okay. We can cut him off up here. I'm going the distance. I am going for speed. Awesome. <laughs> it's like they did not escape that one. 1969, Space Odyssey. Dear Diary. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the next mission is. That was a quick one. Don't worry guys, it's fine. It's the moon, this is a normal occurrence. No, I'm good. You're not gonna shoot me. What's up, Poxy? Russian roulette. No time for chit chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. <laughs> hey, Pox, do you ever notice there seems to be a lot of crates lying around? Just random crates. I mean, <laughs> what could they all be for? You can't tell me anybody. You never know. This crates are necessary. Just lying around. I guess if they were being used for something, then, then I could understand. Agreed, Crypto. So many crates. I think they got the hint, Crypto. <laughs> All right, Pox, I need some serious intel on Moon Base Solaris. Right. Moon Base Solaris consists of two primary areas, the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base. Cosmonaut. Like two lobes of the same twisted mind. <laughs> you know, Pox, you got a pretty cushy job here. I do all the fighting while you just sit around eating bonbons. Mm, bonbons. you hadn't noticed Crypto Spiridion, I have no body! And nobody cares for you. <laughs> Get it, Fox? <laughs> I loathe you. Okay, what do we know about the Blisk? Aside from their ugly insertion. They are indeed a most repulsive race. I love how, like, Crypto's so confident with himself. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Oh, that's sad. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course. Of course. The cream of Soviet citizens. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets. Not that they realize it. 
No. So proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Yeah, we can do that. Hey, okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun. I am hating barracks. Twelve bunks to cubicle? Are you kidding me? Okay, we need a single guy out. That does not sound fun. I am wishing I did not have to hurry to Cosmonaut Base. In fact, I am wishing I could skip big speech altogether. I am wishing instead that I could okay, be getting paid. Uh, but I will be being good Soviet citizen and going to speech. And then I will be getting paid. I love that. That's a fun Easter egg. Destroy all humans to claw machine. Let's talk. Too long. Pod starting to be looking awfully good. I think we're good. I kind of got nervous. They detected us for a second. Ugh, disgusting fumes from mining site are making me sick as dog. Despite fact, there's no air on moon. I need to spend more time in clean air of biodome, like Commander Leonid. Oh, we're going to the biodome. Trains plants. Yeah. I am being so sick of working for mule for a mother. Ugh, disgusting fumes for mining. Faithful Commander Leonid is all. Party leaders say all workers are being equal. But... Oh God, how am I going to face them all? They're fed up with this place, and I can't blame them. We've sold our principles to a race of the giant Can I convince them to follow me? From Mars. It's the oldest cliche in the book. Oh, I am not fit to be a Soviet hero. Terror is not existing in world of Sweet. Kind of got nervous that one guy saw us. <laughs> but we're good. Um, yeah, we can go this way. Or inside of his body. I am him. I'm him. Shake the heat. No, do not pop his brain. Make a speech. Ah, uh, good day, comrades. Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid. 
Why we have to work in such long hours at hard labor? You call this work? Give me a break. You're lifting rocks in one six gravity. It's a freaking vacation. Boo! Tell me, Leonid, why we have to leave in beloved country and coming to this hill? They're unsatisfied that workers. Is being worse than Verklyansk in February. Let's distract him with the joke. You think this place is bad? You should see Cleveland. Americans always making fun of Cleveland. <laughs> but comrade, why we are never seeing beloved Premier Milinkov anymore? Da, he used to be flying up frequently for surprise holiday photo ops. Da, mission accomplished. Trying to listen to the dialogue and play it out on. smart. Milinkov, he's kind of busy. You know, partying in the Mediterranean on his 50-foot yacht with the Dallas Cowpoke cheerleaders. Cowpoke? Dallas Cowpoke cheerleaders? You are yanking with my chain. While we are being stuck in unisex moon base? Pistons. Hmm. But comrade, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Uh... Cause if you go up there, you might find out that the Blisk are really a bunch of giant lobsters from outer space! <laughs> giant lobsters from outer space. You are being excellent comedian, Thanks. comrade. No. I'm not joking. They're counting on you to be too dumb to notice. You can't trust them. Why, Comrade Leonid, what evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskovics? So, uh, you say you want a revolution? Yes, Massimo. We already had two. Is enough for one century. We are having free vodka. What is not to be liking? Everything really abused, Krat. Oh, yeah? Moronic, complacent, obsequious, alcoholic, bootlicking, beat loving, chicken spitting, ass sitting losers. You fall from one oppression to another, living out your dreary, pathetic lives in the most crypto spitting truth. Useless piece of real estate your crummy planet has to offer. You're a global joke. No, no, you're a cosmic joke. Who is spitting chicken? We are not having to be standing for this treatment. We failed. <laughs> All right. Is it going to make us start all the way over? Let's suck. Oh my goodness. It really is. Wow. That's annoying. Faithful Commander Leonid is always being at Herb Garden and Biodome before a big speech. I am wondering GTFL, why. GTFL, out of my you way. You must be loving smell of rosemary. So I wonder how we should play the dialogue. Party leaders say all workers are ugh, disgusting. Oh god, how am I going to face them all? They're fed up this place and I can't claim them. They sold our principles to a race of them giant space crabs from Mars. It's the oldest cliche in the book. Oh, Come here. I am not fit to be a Soviet hero. What? Alright. Less GTFO. There we 
There we go. We're just going to be honest. Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to... Start over. This is being outraged. If we are having vodka, ah, without vodka, Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing. There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskeviks. Yeah, give me vodka or give me death. Da. Viva la revolution. Bad news, Bliskovich. Get out there, find the bliss, and kill them crappy dead. For vodka! For vodka! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um... 
Not the Bliskavix. Okay, we're trying to do the challenge, but that is... This way! We have our body. We did it! <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Dear Diary. I love that. Alright guys, well I'm gonna end the video off there. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace fam! Bye!